Question 14. Round 124,531, the nearest 10,000, 1,000 and 100. So, easiest thing to do here is to actually write the original number out next to each part of the question. So I'm just going to do that first. We'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. Okay. Now, the next thing you've got to do is identify which digit you're actually looking at each time. So when you round into the nearest 10,000, you need the 10,000 digit. So we've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000. So the 10,000 digit is the two. And the digit used to decide on what happens to the two is the one after that, which is the four. Now if the decider is five or more, you would round the two up. But if the decider is less than five, you would round the two down. In other words, it, the two would stay the same. You don't actually put it down to a one. It just stay, rounding down means it just stays the same. So because this four is less than five, that two is going to stay the same. Any digits after it becomes zeros. So the four becomes a zero, the five becomes a zero, three becomes a zero, one becomes a zero. But any digits before it just need to go in. So the one just needs to go in. And so your final answer to that one is 120,000. Now before we do any more, I'm just going to say what, write down what I've just said. So digits after become zeros, but digits before stay the same. So we'll try and apply that same rule again on the next question. So this time we're going to the nearest thousand. So the first thing to do is circle the thousand digits. So we've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands. So the thousand digit is the four. And underline the next digit because the next digit is a decider. Now the deciding digit is five or more because in this case it is a five. So this digit that we've circled needs to round up to a five. And now we just simply need to apply these two rules at the top here. Digits after the five become zeros. So we've got a zero, another zero, and another zero, three zeros to replace the five, three, and one. But digits beforehand stay the same. So the one and the two just need to stay the same. So the answer to that question is 125,000. This method will work every time. Final question. We've got to the nearest 100. So first thing is identify which is the 100 digit. So we've got unit 10, 100. So the 100 digit is 5 because it's 500. The deciding digit is the 3. Now this time the deciding digit is less than 5, like it says here. So the circle digit needs to stay the same, we're rounding down. So the 5 needs to stay as a 5. And again, once we've decided what's happening to the circle digit, we just need to apply these two rules up here. The digits after the 5 become zeros, so we've got a 0 there and a 0 there to replace the 3 and the 1. And digits before the 5 stay as they are, so we've got a 1 staying as it is, a 2 staying as it is, and a 4 staying as it is. And then we just need to put the comma in. Final answer, 124,500. Quick recap, so if the deciding digit is 5 or more, you round up. If the deciding digit is less than 5, you round down, which in other words means the digit you're trying to decide about stays as it is. Once you've done that and decided what the circle digit needs to do, did it after that circle digit replace them as zeros, did it before the circle digit stay as they are?